Hello everyone, my name is Rob Brantley. I'm a kinesiology student at Cal Baptist University. I want to thank you guys for joining me today for my critical assignment presentation. Uh, today we're going to be discussing the vegan diet. We're going to be talking about why it's such a hot topic or contemporary issue in the nutritional world. Uh, we'll go into a brief background of the vegan diet and talk about why it's beneficial to implement into your life. Uh, we'll talk about controversies and arguments that the vegan diet faces. We'll talk about alternative diets that people like to choose instead of the vegan diet and how the vegan diet has impacted the public health. So the vegan diet, what it is, is the consumption of all your foods and getting all of your nourishment from plant-based products. So this excludes all animal meats and ingredients that are derived from animals like dairy products and eggs. The vegan diet has actually been around for many, many years, um, surprisingly, and surveys that are done across the United States show that only 2% of Americans consider themselves to be uh, vegan dieters. Uh, but what this survey doesn't highlight is that from 1997 to 2012, uh, there was a surge in popularity in the vegan diet. Uh, you can see 300 people uh, in 1997 considered themselves to be vegans to over 4 million people considered themselves to be vegan dieters uh, by 2012. Um, and what keeps the vegan diet uh, such a contemporary issue or a hot topic in the nutritional world uh, is that it's constantly being compared to conflicting dieting advice uh, or research or new dieting interventions that uh, come out. Uh, one example would be uh, probably the most recent uh, diet growing in popularity would be the keto diet, uh, which its diet, dieting principles uh, can be seen as opposite to the vegan diet, uh, consuming animal products or uh, foods that are high in saturated fats, uh, where you're getting plant-based foods foods that are low in saturated fats uh, with the vegan diet, and both are, have claims to helping you live a healthier life. Uh, so why is the vegan diet growing uh, in popularity? Um, well, uh, tons of studies have shown that it's the best intervention for mean weight reduction, um, along with uh, many other health benefits that come uh, come with that. Uh, here you have a meta-analysis uh, done by the National Institute of Medicine showing that uh, the vegan diet was extremely infect, uh, effective at improving a person's uh, body composition and assisting with uh, people that suffered from uh, metabolic syndrome. Uh, another two-year randomized uh, trial done with postmenopausal women uh, compared the vegan diet to kind of like a Western moderate low fat diet. Uh, the vegan diet not only uh, was superior in helping them lose weight, uh, but adherence uh, to the vegan diet by the end of the two year trial was better than people trying to follow the moderate low fat diet. So they were able to stay consistent with their diet a lot longer. So why is the vegan diet so healthy? You know, what are the benefits that people are getting from using the vegan diet, uh, especially in comparison to traditional Western diets? Um, the vegan diet uh, claims to be nutrient rich. Uh, their, their foods have uh, dense, dense nutrients in them with lower uh, energy outputs. So you're consuming less calories, but you're getting in lots of vitamins, lots of minerals. Um, and one big thing that the vegan diet uh, has a lot of is a lot of fibrous uh, carbohydrates. And this assists with controlling things like blood sugar, uh, digestion and inflammation um, and, and good gut bacteria, which we'll get into a little bit later. Um, it's also loaded with unsaturated fats, and these unsaturated fats that the vegan diet uh, has uh, is correlated with, or actually causes good cholesterol, which lowers your chance of cardiovascular diseases. Uh, Plant-based foods, uh, again, they 
They contain tons of micronutrients. Um, they include things like folic acid, uh, potassium, vitamin C, vitamin E, magnesium, and tons of phytochemicals that are beneficial for your body. Uh, the vegan diet is, is used in helping people that suffer from depression and anxiety. Um, so this crosses over into other dimensions of health, not just uh, your physical health, but it improves your, your mental and emotional health as well. Um, it, it often creates a therapeutic effect that motivates people to, you know, do healthier things in their life. Like if they're eating better and they're feeling better, you know, then that can cross over into, you know, being able to exercise more or, you know, have uh, practice mindfulness and meditation. Um, aside from that, it, it has a lot of support in how it improves like a person's body mass index, uh, helping to reverse things like obesity and hypertension. Uh, regulating blood uh, sugar levels, so you're lowering the risk of type 2 diabetes. And again, this abundance of, of fiber in these plant-based foods uh, helps the body's gut microbiome. Uh, so that's the accumulation of bacteria in, in the lumen in your digestive system, uh, which helps with, with digestion and, and also helps regulate uh, a person's inflammation, which is commonly overlooked. Uh, helping to reduce inflammation in your body uh, really helps reduce the risk of, uh, of getting uh, different forms of cancers. Um, and aside from the health benefits and, and crossing back over into that emotional or spiritual realm, like many people choose to follow a vegan diet because of they because of humane treatment and equal rights of animals um, that don't come with, you know, regular meat eating or Western uh, style diets, um, that the vegan diet is really an ideology and it, and it, it opposes the exploitation uh, and any cruelty and bad treatment of animals. Uh, so you're excluding not only foods, but you're excluding things like clothing that are made of fur and medicines that are tested on animals as well. Um, their, their main concern is that harsh treatment of animals. And you can see them being discussed in documentaries, such as uh, one documentary that really stuck out was uh, Dominion. And there's a link here to click on that. And you can kind of get a... a a uh, brief look at uh, why these people are so passionate about animal rights, um, but a fair warning that it is it is kind of graphic. Um, choosing to follow veganism, it is a moral and ethical calling for these people and, and a spiritual calling for these people uh, to stay connected to their mind, body, and the and all living things that surround them. When a part of a vegan organization or that uh, veganism ideology, there's really no leeway. You're going to be all in or, or you're not really included into, into, um, into that organization. Um, but what was surprising is that most vegan dieters do not consider themselves to be uh, a to follow veganism, that uh, the vegan diet is only a part of veganism and they choose uh, the vegan diet for health benefits and, and things of that nature. Uh, these vegans are called self-constructed vegans and they, they use the vegan diet so for the health benefits and tend to fluctuate in and out of following uh, the vegan diet principles. Uh, some of the controversies and arguments that the vegan diet faces is there's not enough uh, protein uh, in a vegan diet. Uh, protein's an extremely important uh, nutrient for your body, which helps rebuild tissue, um, probably most notably muscle tissue. Uh, so people like athletes and stuff, uh, you know, have a lot of concerns in getting enough uh, protein intake on a vegan diet or a plant-based diet. 
uh, plant-based foods often have incomplete amino acid profiles uh, in certain foods. Uh, so they're not getting enough amino acids or essential amino acids uh, to support that tissue repair. Um, but this can be prevented. Uh, there are preventative measures to be taken for this. Uh, one is to strategically mix these plant-based foods so that all of the amino acids are available uh, to make these complete proteins. Um, other, other things that can be done as a preventative measure is using supplements. Uh, there are protein powders that are plant-based uh, today. So uh, you can stay on a vegan diet and still take a protein powder. Um, it's also shown that over time, people following a uh, vegan diet uh, become nutrient deficient in vitamin B12. Um, Vitamin B12 is, uh, you can find it occurring in a lot of different animal cells, but it is extremely scarce in plant-based foods. Uh, so the preventative measure in, in making sure that you're getting the adequate, adequate intake of vitamin B12 is, is having to take a supplement uh, along with following the vegan diet. Uh, additional controversies with the vegan diet. Um, one is is that the reason why it's so successful is it's founded on uh, or co or it's successful on co-founded dieting principles. Uh, because you're avoiding things like processed sugar, refined carbohydrates, and trans fats, uh, you know many diets have actually seen improvements by just uh, sticking to these particular dieting principles. Um, also, uh, the type of food, uh, how you prepare that food, also has a profound effect on uh, the success of any diet. Um, but one thing that is really emphasized on a vegan diet that makes it stick out or unique from other diets is, you know, having that, that, you know, loads of fiber that makes it beneficial for your digestion and helps, helps you um, to create a good gut microbiome and reduce inflammation and, and those other added benefits as well. Uh, alternatives to the vegan diet that people choose to follow. Uh, one that might be closest to the vegan diet is actually a vegetarian diet. Um, a, a vegetarian diet has seen similar improvements to your health. Uh, the vegetarian diet restricts animal meats, but it allows for the consumption of things like dairy products and eggs. Uh, just, just a note on the vegetarian diet is that in comparison to the vegan diet, you're missing out on some fibrous plant-based proteins. And also dairy products are gonna have more saturated fats than following a vegan diet. Um, second alternative, um, these two diets uh, have a lot of similarities is the pesco vegetarian and the Mediterranean diet. Uh, both again, uh, have helped people get healthier uh, the pesco vegetarian diet allows fish meats, uh, which are rich in omega threes and good for your heart and and other things in your body, but it restricts all the other meats. And the Mediterranean diet also allows for those fish meats and some other lean meats, but really focuses on restricting uh, the consumption of those red meats that are high in saturated fats, uh, because those saturated fats are correlated with uh, you know bad cholesterol and, and raising that risk for cardiovascular disease. Uh, the last alternative, uh, the one that we discussed a little bit earlier that's really grown in popularity is the ketosis diet. Uh, this one can consist of a lot of red meat or, or foods that are really high in saturated fats. Um, your, your whole energy system is based around the intake of these fats, so your fat intake is really high. Um, historically, ketosis has only been used as an intervention for specific medical conditions, seeing improvements in things like extreme obesity, morbidly obese people, and uh, people suffering from epileptic seizures. Um, it has been extremely effective at, at mean weight reduction, uh, but it, it lacks uh, in a lot of other areas that uh, is unique to the vegan diet or what makes the vegan diet unique is the intake of, of nutrients all the way around.
Uh, the long-term effects of ketosis are also not well documented. So following uh, a ketosis diet for a long period of time might have 